Your uh, last partner, uh, Detective Jimenez, I, I never met him, but I hear he, he left some pretty big shoes to fill. Let's get one thing straight. You're never gonna fill Jimenez's shoes. Ever. Jimenez was a good man. Better cop. Fill Jimenez's shoes. The tip of your dick couldn't fill a bottle cap. Crazy, crazy. Does this crazy. Look at this mess. Makes me sick. There's no way to stop this kind of insane violence. Seems like no matter what we do, some innocent fool is always gonna get slaughtered and we're always gonna be playing catch up. We're never gonna find the guy that did this. Tell that to his widow. And we're always going to be playing catch up. We're never gonna find the guy that did this. <laughs> It's a weird one. Nothing out of place, no murder weapon. And no motive. There's uh, just a couple lying dead in their bed. The proof is always out there, detectives. You just have to know where to find the pudding. Excuse me, sir, you can't be here. This is a Same crime home. scene. It's OK. He's the greatest sex crime investigator in history. If it isn't Detective Chuck Vaughn. Detective Sally Ferguson. Well, you could use a genius right now. Tom Samwell. What have we got, Samwell? Well, uh... Vaughn, we've got ourselves a hard case here. All we've got is... Two bodies, both dead, naked. One man, one woman. In the bed. Two scented candles by the nightstand. How did you... No sign of forced entry. He loved the way they smelled. He wanted to cross the threshold the way they had on their wedding day. You dirty dog. He would have experienced that pleasure right here. <laughs> Anniversary. The couple was together for a while, wanted to spice things up. Check the date on the photograph. Vaughn's right. Today was their 15th wedding anniversary. This is huge. And what the f was that? You just pulled your dick out and started jerking off at the crime scene. Samwell, he's the best there is. By putting himself in the perpetrator's mindset, he's able to solve crimes that involve sex. Bag this up. Some call it a blessing. It's more like a curse. Is that what it feels like? Threesome. <sighs> you wanted to see them, didn't you? You wanted to watch. <sighs> 25 feet from the bedroom, across from the kitchen, you didn't want to see their flesh yet, did you? No, he stood right here. <laughs> Role play gone wrong. Check the logs. We've got a bloody fire poker. We've got our murder weapon. Um, why do your revelations require masturbation? Why do kittens require milk? No, not the same thing. Hey, hey, he's the most brilliant goddamn detective I know. Put your ego aside and give Vaughn his space. My ego? We've got Captain Pudpuller flinging his fluids all over the crime scene. Wait, he knew them. Hey. They were close, so close, too close. He, he, I think he knew the house. Why? Oh, what did you want, you sick bastard? He wanted to see what he saw every day. Only closer. He was close to home. <laughs> There's a man! All right, let's go get him. Go, go! 
Vaughn, that was amazing. I'm sorry that I doubted you. Your methods are unorthodox, but I cannot argue with your results. No hard feelings? Uh, no, no, not gonna do that. Johnny? Okay, Carter. I can stay here all night. So why don't you and I cut the crap and you tell me what happened on March 15th? And what's in it for Carter Finley? What's in it for you is I don't send you back to jail. <sighs> the guy's name is Cat Branchman. I met him downtown at a club called The Clutching Kitten. You may have heard of it. It's down on the corner of Hang and Fur Street. Cat Branchman. So what's a guy like you and a guy named Cat? Okay. I know what you're doing, Finley. You're just using what you see in my poster. I'm not, detective. I'm telling the truth. We'll see how much truth you tell after a few weeks in solitary confinement. Fine, detective. You've twisted my arm. That's better. The guy's name wasn't Cat Branchman. It was a Chinese guy named Mr. Meow. He's the real gang boss. Story went, he hung guys from trees and took pictures of them. Finley? Used to run a club downtown, a front, of course. Called it the Paw and Poster. Finley? Ran it with a guy named Hong In Dar. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Finley? Who do you work for? Coffee. Mr. Coffee. Coop. You Coffee Coop. His name was Baldy Tall Man Coffee Coop. <sighs> now you're just talking about me. Finley, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Who is in charge? His name was Angry Man. <sighs> the warehouse is located in the Diploma for being a detective. I want a name. Justin. Thank you. Hang tree. Don't say hang. God damn it, do not say hang. Hang. Nope. Hangman Justin Cat. Finley. Poster. Do not say poster or cat. Cat poster. OK, that's it. I'm losing my patience. Winslow, get this moron out of here. I'm losing my patience. Let's try this one more time. Getting too old for this. Well played, detective. Well played indeed. Hey, Carter. You hang in there. Hello, you must be Detective Hobbs. I am your new partner, Joshua Tay. Um, what, you know, uh, your uh, last partner, uh, Detective Jimenez, I, I never met him, but I hear he, he left some pretty big shoes to fill. Let's get one thing straight. You're never gonna fill Jimenez's shoes. Ever. Jimenez was a good man, better cop. Philly Menace's shoes. The tip of your dick couldn't fill a bottle cap. I, I'm, I'm very sorry if that came out wrong. I'm sure he Menace was a great cop. The best. Okay. Uh. So these uh, prostitute murders. Um. Seems like a serial killer. Could be. 
Um, I actually worked out a theory. I don't I think... give a hobo's hat about your theory. You think Jimenez worked off of theories like some kind of a needle dick Charles Darwin? Not on your ass. Jimenez always shot straight from the dick. You think you're Jimenez? Absolutely not. You're goddamn right you're not. I just said I'm... Jimenez would have busted 20 perps in the time it'd take you to pull up your pants over your itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot but pee pee. Two daughters raising him on his own. You want that job? Huh? Mr. Baby Dick? What is going on? You want to be that daddy? No. You know what? I think I think we got off on the wrong foot. Not Jimenez. Oh. Jimenez got off on the right foot every goddamn day of his goddamn life. Uh -huh. Which is more than I can say for your pebble penis having ass. What? Jimenez want to be? I can assure you I don't want to be Jimenez. Why not? What's wrong with Jimenez? There's nothing wrong with Jimenez. Then why wouldn't you want to be like I him? I don't know. You said smart, Pekka. OK, I'm out. I can't. I can't make this work. Menez would have made it work. Come back from Florida soon, Jimenez. First things first, I do not care that you're a multi-platinum selling rapper, Gunrack. What I care about is that I 100% know that you murdered Darnell Simmons. So, you better start talking. Yeah, but you ain't got nothing. Oh. <laughs> I, you, you know, I'm actually, I'm very glad that you said that. Uh, because I, respectfully, I beg to differ. Killed Darnell, yeah, I shot him with my knife. I shot him nine times, 9 p.m. on the dime. And by the way, it was November night. That don't mean nothing. I got a vivid imagination. I couldn't have shot Darnell. I was at my cousin's birthday party. Red Lobster, November 9th. At, at Red Lobster? Mm hmm Jeez, I gotta tell you, Gunrack, I, I find that really hard to believe. I got an alibi. Birthday Red Lobster. When in reality, I shot Darnell like a mobster. It's a lie. Anyone could tell this if you know about my allergy to all shellfish. Just confess, Gunrack. Uh. That shellfish is the only thing that rhymes with tell this. It's just words. Detective. Nouns, adjectives. They just happen to be in a dope order, but we ain't got no pearl. Shot up Darnell with a long ass gun and tossed it into the aquarium. I have no idea what that object is. I don't... If I had to identify it, I would call it a gun of the long ass variety. Some seaweed in there too. Look, detective, <clears throat> I had to break it to you. I ain't killing no one. Stroke my chin real slow when I'm lying. And I was laughing super hard as Darnell was dying. The name of the album is I Killed Darnell Simmons. It's a concept album. A concept? That's a picture of you. A picture of you. And behind you is Darnell Simmons' body. Coincidence. You're going away for a long time, you understand? You're going to confess if it's the last thing you ever do. You hear me, Gun Rack? I'll be the body. I'll be the body. He's free to go. What? No, 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 no. We have everything we need. No, it was Simmons' girlfriend. She just confessed to the whole thing. Infidelity, crime of passion. Let's go, Mr. Rack. Oh, 
bonus track, bonus track. I got a ride or die, bitch. I think you get the gist. And when you let me out, I'm gonna blow a little kiss. This is my confession, admissible in court. I killed Darnell Simmons for sport. Ha 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 that's right. I'm a murderer, come get me. Come Stop. down the hall, you hey. can't get me. Okay, 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 you got me, you got me. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. damn, 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 ow, ow! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,